Well, hi there, my name's Tom Craggs from Running With Us, and we are delighted to be the UK training and coaching partners for St John Ambulance. We're here to support you on your training journey for the Virgin Money London Marathon 2018. We're going to be giving you training plans, training advice, top tips on nutrition, strength and conditioning, recovery, a fantastic training day that will see you getting all the tips, all the inspiration and all the advice you need to cross the start line in Greenwich and then the finish line down the mall feeling absolutely fantastic and having a wonderful day. The London Marathon is truly one of the world's most incredible sporting occasions and we know that with the right training advice, a little bit of planning and a little bit of sensible training you can absolutely love every minute of your marathon training and racing journey. Now it may seem a long way off, here we are in or the autumn time and uh, April seems a long, long way away. But trust me, I've seen many, many runners over the years leave their training really, really late. Before you know it, you're going to be wearing this vest, you're going to be crossing the line in Greenwich, and uh, the marathon will suddenly be real for you. Um, so what we want to do over the next uh, few weeks and months is just build a little bit of a base and a little bit of a platform and foundation for your training. So I'm going to give you three or four top tips to get you going. For some of you, you'll be very experienced runners already. You may be already covering 10Ks, half marathons. Maybe you've even covered a marathon before and you guys are pretty sorted and that's great. For you guys, it's about perhaps working on some of those areas that you've tended to perhaps neglect in the past. Maybe that's your strength and conditioning and core training. Check out our training guide. We've got several top key strength and conditioning moves we'd like you to do and some regular stretching to keep your body ticking over. Perhaps for some of you it's more about your recovery on your, nutri your nutrition. Again, we've got loads of tips and advice to support you with that. So if you're an experienced runner, think about the details. For those of you who are perhaps a little, le a little bit less experienced, how you use the next few weeks is key. We've written an article for St John Ambulance that covers how to get to 10 miles by Christmas. And we think that's a great target for you guys to set yourselves. Whether it's bang on 10 miles, we're not too worried. Whether it's 8, 9, 10, 11 miles, anything's fantastic. It's about building a base and a consistency of training. So if you're totally new to it, our top tips are going to be start sensibly. Nobody becomes a Paula Radcliffe or a Mo Farah overnight. It takes time and endurance training takes patience. So if you're totally new to running, do not be afraid to mix running and walking in a planned and a structured way. Your first few runs might be a case of two, three, four minutes worth of easy running mixed with perhaps one to two minutes worth of brisk walking that you repeat perhaps five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. As the weeks go by, you're going to reduce the walking recoveries a little bit and you're going to extend the periods of running but you're going to stay fully conversational throughout and that's a great place to start. We'd advise over the next few weeks and this is top tip number two to have a look at some of those key half marathon training races that you're going to want to do in 2018. We'd strongly recommend you to get into at least one half marathon, perhaps even two, and there are some fantastic options out there around the UK that I'm not going to list off for you now, but if you want advice and support and which ones to go for, pop us an email at info at runningwithus.com and we're here to answer all of your questions around training and racing. Um, top tip number three is don't neglect the strength and conditioning and your core training. It's about injury management. So with all of your running, imagine building a bigger engine in your race car. If you drop that engine into a little beaten up old frame, it's going to fall apart. What we want to do is build a racing car body to sit around that racing car engine. So have a little look at the training guide we've written for St John Ambulance. It's got in there our top core and strength and conditioning exercises. And please, please try to build a routine and a pattern of getting these done a couple of times a week. They only take 15 to 20 minutes to go through and we know that they can make a fantastic and a really important difference in you staying injury free but also running perhaps a little bit faster. Top tip number four is get out and get out with some friends. So running can be a lonely journey if you make it that way but it doesn't have to be that way. Share your goal 
with friends and family and try to get them to join you with some of your training. They'll get them perhaps cover the marathon with you, but they might get out once a week with you, once every couple of weeks. Perhaps chat to colleagues at work or friends that you know that perhaps are also training for the London Marathon and try to organise some regular meetups where you're going to tackle some of those key runs together. It really will help keep your motivation going. And if you've got nobody to be in contact with, don't worry about that. We're going to have lots of social media activity over coming months where myself and my colleagues Nick and Siobhan and the team at St John Ambulance are going to be giving you loads of training advice, loads of training tips and really help with your motivation. So don't go through this journey alone, we are there to support you along the way. Um, my fourth and final tip for now is going to be make sure you've got all of the basics in place. That's you've got the right pair of running shoes and the right kit to see you through these tough winter months. Of course motivation for all of us can struggle a little bit when it's cold and wet and damp outside but if you've got the right kit and you know you've got the right footwear to support your individual running gait trust me it really can help with motivation over the next few months when it's a little bit dark and cold outside um, so get yourself down to your local running shop get your feet and your running gait analyzed and those guys the professionals will kick you out the right kit for you and it will see you on the right path to remaining injury free over the next few weeks. We're going to be coming back to you loads of top tips over coming weeks and months so that's just for starters we look forward to working with you all over coming months and I'll be seeing many of you at our training day early in the new year. Good luck.